Welcome to another episode of In Conversation. And this time we have as our guest uh, Sonali Rora, who is heading uh, government and institutional business with our bank, and a lady with diverse experience and finally with the bank. Sonali, can you, for the benefit of the viewers, tell us what kind of thing the My App is, which the bank has recently introduced and what all benefits people are getting across the country? Uh, My App was started more as an initiative to take digital banking to the last mile and actually provide digitization to, you know, vary the retail, the long tail of merchants, which is clubs, uh, housing societies, uh, religious institutions, and, you know, support government of India and its Digital India Smart City mission with urban local bodies. So uh, I would say that we're very pleased to have had, you know, the chance to do this. And we've launched, you know, today we have more than 125 signups as we speak for my apps across different segments. I think this has been a real help to religious organizations across the country, especially as no one predicted and foresaw COVID coming. So of the many signups that we have today, we have more than 50 from religious institutions. So it's really about bringing tech and religion. And, you know, you'll soon see our app at one of the largest uh, temples in the country where we have actually customized it for them to be able to actually have their customers, I mean, they visit their devotees, be able to download the visit slip. So there is a lot of innovation that is happening in this space. And I think, uh, you know, this is where the future lies, where people will actually depend more and more on the smartphone and on smart devices uh, to be able to to meet their daily needs. And uh, we see my apps playing a very central role there, whether it is a housing society and whether it is about, you know, paying your utility bills, paying society maintenance, allowing visitors to uh, come into your building and your flat. Uh, all of this is something that is going to, is changing very, very rapidly, and we are going to see uh, this only gather momentum. So yes, we've had a we've had a good offtake uh, since we launched in January. Can you please share us uh, exactly how we help government and uh, what kind of assistance we are providing to them in this space? The government of India, as you know, Sanjay has embarked on a digital India mission, which I think is a very, very big step towards improving efficiency and transparency and much needed in our country. So we have actually been working with various government organizations, be it urban local bodies, be it state governments, or even supporting the central government uh, on a slew of initiatives. Let me start with what we do for urban local bodies. So as we talked about my apps, we have the My City app that we have been providing to various uh, urban local bodies across the country, which actually provides them with the opportunity to enable digital payments. Uh, for collection of property taxes, user charges, you know, receiving birth death certificates and any other, uh, you know, charges that they have, which are local taxes like your advertisement revenue, etc. at the local level uh, through people's most smartphones and uh, user charges. The second is, of course, with state governments, you've had the chance to work with them on a variety of solutions, whether it has been related to, you know, providing them solutions that allow for effective project monitoring and then allowing dispersal of funds to, uh, you know, on completion of certain milestones. So with this solution, we actually help the government to completely monitor the project, understand the lags in execution, uh, identify the bottlenecks and de-bottleneck them and therefore release payments uh, at once various milestones have been completed with systematic monitoring in place. This is something the governments have really appreciated at various levels in the country. The, in addition, of course, there's e-tendering and e-auction, which is increasingly becoming something that every every government body wants to adopt in the spirit of improving transparency. So that's another area we participate in. There's, of course, the PFMS, where we were recently uh, applauded by the CGA for being one of the top five banks for doing disbursements to across beneficiaries in the country. So there's, that's another big area where we work closely with the central government and the state governments on uh, beneficiary disbursements. Then there have been solutions that we have cre- helped to create with a single account that actually allow the government to monitor to a parent-child structure set up to monitor expenses across various districts from a centralized account and actually see the variance in expenditure across different districts for a similar commodity. There are a slew of solutions that we have provided to different types of departments in the government, whether it has been healthcare, whether it has been, you know, urban development, public works department, the railways, or we have been working with, uh, you know, the PMAY scheme, the midday meal scheme, uh, a lot of 
the beneficiary disbursements, it, it's across a slew of, of departments and, and across levels in the country. Historically, we worked with the railways. Last year, we signed an MOU with the border security force to make sure they get the most competitive banking products from a salary offering to actually providing our uh, support to, to, for tax collections and, and direct taxes, which started way back in 2001 when we were chosen as the very first bank, uh, as an agency bank. So I think our historical focus on supporting the government, enabling digitization goes back way before someone like me came to the bank. Started the focus in 2001. The bank, of course, started earlier than that. As a bank, and uh, as far as I know, we have uh, been a strong partner with the central government and uh, we have been associated with the GEM project, what they call, and now we are associated with ENAM uh, for crop procurement and other things. Would you like to share uh, how the bank has been helping the government and institutions in this business? I think with with GEM uh, as well as with Inam, uh, you know, we have had uh, a long partnership now for the last two years. In Inam, we are one of the six banks, Sanjay, that would provide our payment services for actually supporting a seamless experience for uh, procurement on the Inam platform. And that is something that is, you know, work in progress as we speak and should be live in the next couple of weeks that is one area where we have uh, and, and are really looking forward to helping uh, Enam scale, especially with all the far-reaching reforms that have been enacted in agriculture over the last couple of weeks. As far as GEM is concerned, again, you, you know that GEM was set up with the perspective of ensuring that there was seamless flow of funds. Uh, while there was enough and more procurement happening by the government from MSMEs, there was a seamless flow and timely payments that were made to MSMEs. In keeping with this, uh, GEM was set up with a GEM pool account that was made um, and there where we are one of the banks actively participating in it. In addition, uh, we recently launched the caution money product for sellers where sellers actually need to park a certain amount of money to ensure that there's a quality of service provided by them. So that's the other thing that we're doing with GEM. Uh, there's a third integration which is actually going to be quite profound, which will actually supersede the TREADS integration that has been there, uh, which is for bill discounting. Uh, which uh, we are working on it as a bank and should be live uh, in the next couple of weeks. But yes, that's going to fundamentally uh, change the way things work for GEM. And we're very happy to be part of that initiative as we uh, at this point in time. How do we augment ease of doing business for companies? So, uh, on the ease of doing business, I think one of the initiatives that we have uh, helped contribute to is uh, while there's been digitization of services where we have played our part, uh, it is around, you know, online opening of accounts for companies at the time of registration. So here we partnered with the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and are one of the three banks today to be able to provide the online account opening facility for non-individual customers uh, in, uh, on the MCA website. Uh, this facility has actually helped a lot of companies during the Corona times. And since the registration, we've seen more than 10,000 applications uh, that have come to us. Uh, for account opening uh, or through this medium. How we have been helping the uh, government in terms of a proper bank as a financial institution, would you like to say something on that? Yes, Sanjay. So I think we do operate as a full service bank, right? Whether it has been in the area of trade finance or whether it is in the forex for, and including, you know, competitive foreign, foreign exchange rates, or lending to government customers occasionally. So most recently, you know, we did a transaction with Yamuna Expressway Authority or before that with the Noida Authority. So yes, we have been doing uh, and providing our full service banking and operating as a full service bank uh, with government customers um, uh, across states in the country. Uh, thank you, Sonali. Thank you very much for uh, sharing all these experiences of how we have developed uh, my apps and how we are helping uh, government, state government, central government and different institutions and making their life easy uh, from banking perspective. Thank you very much uh, for taking out time.